It's a fairly nice day out today. It's the first day of the new year that I'm getting out and about. Today I'm going to be exploring Chelsea of Manhattan. In my opinion, I think Chelsea is probably one of the best neighborhoods in all of New York City. It's huge, there's so much to see and do. And first things first, I've got to eat. On the way to the restaurant and just stumbled across this very interesting and old cemetery. This is not something you see very often in Manhattan. On to the restaurant. So the restaurant I wanted to go to literally had construction right next to it. I can put up with a lot, but the sound of a jackhammer right in back of me, eh, not the best. So I've got a backup plan going to another restaurant. Hopefully that one works out. I went to Junmin Ramen Bar, a solid ramen spot in Chelsea. I got the pork bone ramen with chashu, kikurage, menma, and egg, scallions, and black oil. It was excellent. I mean, look at this piece of pork. Amazing. There's nothing more satisfying than a hot bowl of ramen on a cool winter's day. I feel like the cold weather even amplifies the taste. This is awesome. That ramen hit the spot. Juman Ramen Bar, one of the best in Chelsea, easily. Now, gotta get something sweet. Right now I'm at a new bakery I've never been to, Billy's Bakery. It looked really good inside, so much good looking stuff, but I got this uh, banana pudding here, looks great. Looks like the perfect thing to have after a nice salty bowl of ramen, so let's eat. Mm. Oh yeah, this is what banana pudding should taste like. So smooth, just perfect. That was so insanely good. Although I should have gotten coffee, now I have to go get coffee. Now I'm at Hudson Yards. It's uh, right near Chelsea here because there is a coffee spot that I want to go to and I have to go to the washroom. Plus, I still think they have their holiday decorations up, so want to check those out while I still can. Right now I'm at the mall at Hudson Yards admiring the beautiful holiday decorations while they're still up. This is such a great way to get people to come here, shop, see the sights. But right now, I gotta get back on my mission of getting coffee. Also, I gotta mention, if you have to go to the washroom, Hudson Yards is the place to do it. They are immaculate here, way better than the public restrooms in NYC. Right now I've become distracted once again. I'm on the High Line, a wonderful elevated park that snakes through Chelsea and up to Hudson Yards. While I should be getting coffee, I'm on the High Line. It's really nice, but I think I'll have to come here another day to do a little more exploring. So right there, Think Coffee, that's the uh, coffee spot I wanna go to. Coffee is in sight. I am feeling good. Finally, got some coffee. Got it from Think Coffee, always a reliable spot for some caffeinated beverages. Now I'm gonna do a little reading in the meantime. The book of the day is Barack Obama's new book, A Promised Land, so far so good. I'm only about 300 pages in, which is not even halfway in, but so far, really, really good. I have one more stop before I head home, which is actually the whole reason why I'm in this area, is to go see the new Moynihan Train Hall at Penn Station. Now, Penn Station used to be one of the most beautiful train stations in the entire world, and they tore it down and replaced it with literally one of the most ugliest buildings in New York City. I've seen some pictures of Moynihan Hall, and it looks stunning, 
modern, clean, but also a classic feel to it. So I'm really excited to see it for myself. I feel like it's a return to that wonderful classic era of prosperity in New York City. On to Penn Station. Wow, that's all I can say. I'm here at the new Moynihan train hall at Penn Station. Absolutely stunning, so clean, so modern, but it really has that classic feel to it. So right now it's not too crowded, but I mean, we're still in the middle of a pandemic and it's not gonna be crowded, but this is a real positive sign of things to come. So this actually just opened on January 1st and there are still elements of it under construction, but this, great start to the year. Right now I'm on the main floor under this beautiful skylight. I bet during the day it is incredible. But right now they've got these wonderful colorful lights on it. Looks really cool, but definitely got to get back during the day sometime. Morning Iron Hall did not disappoint. Absolutely beautiful, wonderful addition to the city of New York. Can't wait till things get back to normal because this place is gonna be hopping. It's gonna be one of those iconic places of New York of the 21st century. But for now, it's time to head home. And it was one hell of a good day.